Hello, everybody. My name is Buzzer. And I'm Sparky. Get ready for fun, because you've just joined the, the Bed, Bed Bug, Bug Bible, Bible Gang. Gang. We are the bed bugs and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the bed bugs and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have an antenna in our hair. We are the bed bugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the bed bugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. And we like to pray and praise and eat meringue And if you like the song we sang You're in the bed of Bible gang gang Ding diddle ding 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 Sparky, are you ready for a jumbled journey? Sure, Buzzer. I'd love to see lions and elephants. Not a jungle journey, Sparky. A jumbled journey. We're going to follow a really mixed up journey through the Bible. Okay, Buzzer, but you'll have to tell me what to pack. You'll be just fine as you are, Sparky. The first part of our journey is called Wilderness Wandering. The Israelites were wandering out in the desert heat. They did not have a drop to drink. They had no food to eat. I'm hungry. We're all hungry. Their leader, Moses, told them all that God would guide the way. God led them all by fire at night and led by smoke all day. Let's follow God. God will know where the food is. But as the days went on and on, the people all complained. We have no food or water. We wish we were slaves again. I hope they don't mean that. Then Moses said, you silly folks, how soon you all forget. God led us all across the sea without us getting wet. Oh yeah, I do remember that. That was amazing. If God can do those super things, then God can feed us too. God wants you to be safe and sound. Just look what God can do. Moses trusts God. So do I. So Moses lifted up his staff and tapped it on the ground. At once, a spring came shooting up with water all around. Wow, look what God did. A spring has sprung. Tomorrow morning, Moses said, look down beneath your feet. You'll find a special breakfast there, which you will love to eat. Beneath our feet? I'm not too sure about this. When morning came, they looked around, just as they had been told. They found a feast right on the ground, a wonder to behold. What is it? I don't know, but it's yummy. The people shouted, hip hooray, and thanked the Lord above. For God provided food and drink, and lots and lots of love. Hip hooray! I love God too. For 40 years they wandered there, out in the desert sun. Each day God took good care of them. God does for everyone. Thank you, God. I'm stuffed. I'm stunned. I love to hear the good news that God takes care of me. And God takes care of all of you, too. Let's all sing a song about how God cared for Moses and the Israelites as they wandered around. The Israelites were wandering out in the desert heat. And as they walked, they all complained they had no food to eat. Hungry, hunger, hungry, hunger, <laughs> hungry, hunger. So Moses said unto the crowd, Just look what God can do. He tapped the staff against the ground, A fountain burst right through. Hungry, hunger, hungry, hunger, <laughs> hungry, hunger, a fountain burst right through. And in the 
morning everywhere they found a food so odd they knew the lord had put it there they all gave thanks to god hungry hunger hungry hunger <laughs> said unto the crowd just look what God can do he tapped the step against the ground the fountain burst right through hungry hunger hungry hunger hungry hunger a fountain burst right through and in the morning everywhere they found a so odd they knew the lord had put it there they all gave thanks to god hungry hunger hungry hunger <laughs> hungry hunger they all gave thanks to god they all gave thanks to god <laughs> That song was swell, gang, and you sang it superbly. You can sing it for your supper. God showed Moses and the Israelites just the place to find food and water. Can you find the hidden food in this picture of Moses? Start by finding an apple. There's an apple hiding in the clouds. Now try to find a hidden banana. You found it! That banana was hiding in the watery spring. Next, try to find the hidden sandwich. You found the sandwich right on the sand. Just a few more. Help me find the hidden lunchbox. That's it. You see the lunchbox right next to Moses. Try to find a hidden ice cream cone. All right, you found all the food. Now find our hungry hiding bed bug friend. There she is. You found everything. Great job, gang. How do you like the jumbled journey so far, Sparky? I think we need to stop for directions. I'm a little lost. God's guiding the way on this jumbled journey, but you'll find all the directions you need in our next story, Sparky. It's called The Ten Commandments. Moses climbed a mountain high, met with God up near the sky. Moses talked with God all day, glad to hear what God would say. I love talking to God. I pray every day. While the Lord and Moses met, all the people got upset. What if Moses won't come down? Who is going to lead us now? What's wrong? They miss Moses. Then they yelled, this is not fair. Moses talks to God up there. We want God to be with us, something we can see and touch. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound good. We don't need his God, they said. We can make our own instead. We will make our own God now shaped just like a golden cow. What are they doing? Oh, that thing looks silly. Moses came back down one day, saw the people dance and play all around the golden cow. Moses shouted, stop that now. You tell him, Moses. Moses said, it makes me sad to see you all act so bad. And if this is sad for me, think of how sad God must be. I feel sad, too. On that mountain high above, God taught me to live and love. God wrote down what we should do. 
I will share God's words with you. Now you're talking. Now God is talking. First of all, I think you know, this here cow has got to go. Everyone remember this. God's the only God there is. I can remember that. Bye-bye, cow! Worship God with all your heart. Go to church and do your part. Love your family, love your friends. Please don't hurt or steal from them. I can do all those things. I love to love. Do the things that God commands. Put your life in God's strong hands. When you act with faith and love, you feel close to God above. I'm sticking with God. That sounds good to me. That story was sensational. I'm happy the Israelites learned that God is always nearby. And now you know it too. Share the good news that God is near with everyone you meet. Can you help me find the matches from the Ten Commandments story? We can start with this picture of Moses. Where is his match? That's it. The matching Moses is right here. How about this silly cow? Can you find a match for it? You found it. The other silly cow is right over here. That was great. Now, look at this picture of God's commandments. Where is the match for them? There they are, right over here. Now, look for a match for this mountain. You got it! That mighty mountain's match is right here. Just one more to go. Where is the match for this praying person? <laughs> That's the one! You found them all! Great job, gang! I'll always stick with God, Buzzer! And God will always stick with you, Sparky! I'm gonna stick around to see what comes next! <laughs> Looks like you're already stuck! <laughs> yep! And now, I'm proud to present the Bed Bug Bandoliers with their latest, greatest hit, the Bed Bug Pizzeria! Perhaps you remember Pierre of Perry, the bed bug who thinks he's as swell as can be. Well, Pierre has a cousin from old Napoli who is happy to work at a fine pizzeria. Uh, come in, have a seat. Welcome to the Bed Bug Pizzeria. We have the best of pizza you can buy. When you're here, we're always glad to see ya. So won't you have a bed of a pizza pie? Well, a pizza's a pizza, I've heard it been said. You just pile up some toppings on top of some bread. That's okay if you just want to go away fed. But you might want to try the bug's pie if you're ready. Try it, you like it, eh? <laughs> Welcome to the Bed Bug Pizzeria. We have the best of pizza you can buy. When you're here, we're always glad to see ya. So won't you have a Bed Bug Pizza Pie? You ask, what makes this pizza pie taste so good? And when can I get some in my neighborhood? I'd give you the answer if only I could. The bugs won't tell me, though I think that they should have. It's a family secret. Welcome to the Bed Bug Pizzeria. We have the best of pizza you can buy. When you're here, we're always glad to see ya. So won't you have a Bed Bug Pizza Pie? So if you like pizza and think bugs are nice, come visit the Bed Bugs and order a slice. They're open from breakfast through dinner each night. But you'd better share because these bed bugs bite. Not. He's just joking. We only bite the pizza. Welcome to the bed bug pizzeria. We have the best of pizza you can buy. When you're here, we're always glad to see ya. So won't you have a bed bug pizza pie?
No matter if you want it with cheese or no, if you're dining in or you'd like it to go, just say what you'd like and the bugs make it so. My favorite is anchovy licorice bologna. Yuck, that's disgusting. Welcome to the Red Bug Pizzeria. We have the best of pizza you can buy. When you're here, we're always glad to see ya. So won't you have a bed of a pizza pie? The secret to making good pizza, they say, is mixing the toppings together this way. The colors and flavors all blend. Hip hooray! That's how God made us, so it must be the way to. Welcome to the Bed Bug Pizzeria. We have the best of pizza you can buy. When you're here, we're always glad to see ya. So won't you have a Bed Bug Pizza Pie? So won't you have a Bed Bug Pizza Pie? Ha-ha! Thank you, Bandoliers. You gave me time for one more story about another journey through the desert. Does it have to be in a desert, Buzzer? I'm afraid so, Sparky. You're afraid? Is this story scary, Buzzer? No, Sparky. It's just a figure of speech. I'm afraid I don't understand. So, without further ado, the Bedbug Bible Gang is happy to bring you Jesus Jumbled Journey. Jesus wandered 40 days. He wandered 40 nights. In the wilderness he prays. He doesn't eat a bite. I pray before I eat. Jesus isn't eating anything. Someone visits Jesus there, a very sneaky sort. Jesus, play a game with me. I hear that you're a sport. Who's that? I don't know, but he looks pretty sneaky. If you really are God's son, the sneaky Satan said, pick these rocks up off the ground and turn these rocks to bread. Could Jesus do that? He could if he wanted to. Jesus simply shook his head and said, Haven't you heard? There's much more to life than bread. I only need God's word. God's word fills you up. It's fulfilling! Sneaky Satan stood with Jesus on a tower tall. Jump off, Jesus. God has promised not to let you fall. I don't trust that sneaky Satan. Jesus said, Do not test God. God's power's not for show. Scripture says that God protects. That's all I need to know. Jesus knows God protects us. He doesn't need to prove it. To the highest mountaintop, the sneaky Satan flies. If you bow and worship me, the world is yours, he lies. He's lying, Jesus. This game is sneaky. Jesus shouted, go away. This sneaky game is through. I will only worship God. So that's the end of you. Hooray for Jesus. I knew he'd win. Sneaky Satan slinks away. It's clear that Jesus won. God sends angels from above to care for God's own son. Jesus is God's son. And that's the truth. Jesus knows, and Moses knows, and now you know it too. Worship God and God alone. That's just the thing to do. Jesus is God. God is the greatest. I hope you liked our story. It's one of the bed bugs' favorites. The bedbugs love to tell everyone that we should follow God every day of our lives. And that's not a jumbled journey at all. <laughs> you said it, Sparky. I sure did. Now you can sing a song about Jesus' jumbled journey. We'll help you learn it. When Jesus wandered in the desert, Someone sneaky snuck on by Saying glad you came, won't you play my game? It'll be such fun if you try, Lord, Lord It'll be such fun if you try That sneaky someone said to Jesus Turn that stone to bread Well, I don't need a roll to fill my soul Just God's good word, Jesus said, oh yeah Just God's good word, Jesus said Sneaky someone said to Jesus, leap from this tower tall. But the Lord won't go, saying, don't you know that God will protect me if I fall? Oh yeah, God will protect me if I fall. That sneaky someone said to Jesus, bow down and worship me. 
Jesus said, we're done, only God's the one. Now, devil, won't you let me be? Oh, yeah, devil, won't you let me be? Sing along. When Jesus wandered in the desert, someone sneaky snuck on by, saying, glad you came, won't you play my game? It'll be such fun if you try, Lord, Lord, it'll be such fun if you try. That sneaky someone said to Jesus, turn that stone to bread. Well, I don't need a roll to fill my soul. Just God's good word, Jesus said, oh yeah. Just God's good word, Jesus said. That sneaky someone said to Jesus, leap from this tower tall. But the Lord won't go, saying, don't you know that God will protect me if I fall. Oh yeah, God will protect me if I fall. That sneaky someone said to Jesus, bow down and worship me. Jesus said, we're done, only God's the one. Now, devil, won't you let me be? Oh, yeah, devil, won't you let me be? Great job. That song was fun. Oh, yeah. One of these pictures from the Jesus Jumble Journey story is different from all the others. Can you help me find the picture that is different? We can start with this picture of Jesus. Which picture is different? You got it! That picture is very different from the others. How about this picture of a desert plant? Which one is different from all the others? Right again! You found the different one! Now, look at this sneaky someone. Which picture is different? That's right, that sneaky someone is really sneaky. Great job. Now, can you tell which of these rocks is different from the others? That's the one. That rock is really a loaf of bread. Okay, just one more. Which of these pictures of God's angels is different from the others? That's it, you found all the different pictures. That was a fun game, way to go. That's all the time we have for today, gang. We hope you had fun, and we hope to see you again real soon. And always remember that Jesus loves you very much. Bye-bye! We are the Bedbugs, and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the Bedbugs, and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the Bedbugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the Bedbugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. One, two, three. We are the Bedbugs. And we like to pray and praise and eat meringue. And if you like the song we sang, you're in the Bedbug Bible gang. Gang. Ding, 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 ding.